Squid up? No, squid neutral. All right, dude. I uh, I've been a mess. I I remember when I posted that face reveal video way back when. It was kind of like uh, my attempt at getting ready to put myself out there in a way. Then COVID hit and I'm like, oh, well, time to hide away again. Now, I'm very good at being a basement dweller who does basement dweller things. So when the pandemic happened, it only amplified it by a lot. Like, I never leave my house. And being the fat ass that I am, I've used that fact as a crutch to tell myself, oh, no one's going to see me outside. I have an animated avatar, dude. Who cares if I put some extra pounds or stop shaving my face, okay? Let, let me let loose a little bit. And then BAM! I let loose all of it. I've gained like 45 pounds. Felt like complete scum garbage. Trash talked myself in the mirror. Lost 25 pounds. Gained back 25 pounds. Then lost 25 pounds again. And now here I am, still wishing I've never gained any at all. The more pounds I gained, the more embarrassed I was to even be seen from any of my friends or family members. It's like a bear coming out of his cave and being like, Don't look at me. But God, does food taste so good. Anyways, although I may be a professional yo-yoer in terms of body size, I still believe I can get back to the weight where I felt comfortable at, you know, just, just, just give me some time, you know, I'm strangely confident about this, you know, I've, I've done it before, copium. Anyways, combined weight gain, the planet going on fire, and my lack of motivation over the past couple of years, and you got yourself a lazy hot mess of a basement dweller. Motivation was so low, like, I don't have to pay for rent, I'm in the basement. My mom's favorite hobby is cooking and feeds me too much. My dad does all the laundry and mows the lawn and likes it. I was like literally rotting away in my basement, like, where are my responsibilities? I'm such a loser. Hey, but good news everybody, I've never made this public on my YouTube channel for some reason, but I have made a tweet on the exact day I became free from my art school loans of death. Please clap for me. Don't make my mistake. Oh, right. Japan. Yeah, I live in Japan now. Fun fact, I've never left the United States. Like ever, except for Canada and Florida. Another fun fact, I was supposed to go visit the land of the rising sun as a fun vacation trip, you know, like right before COVID hit, but then everything spiraled out of control and Japan closed the borders. That seemed like forever and was like, stay away, you filthy gaijin weeb. But that's okay because like there's more dire things happening. Like people are dying and are literally losing their jobs. Then all these Goombas online would keep on producing mad FOMO to the point where I could not watch it any longer. Them talking about onsens was the last straw. Okay, so while the FOMO has been punching me in the face for a while, the company Geeks Plus was like, hey, wanna move to Japan? And I was like, bet. No, but for real, I was rotting away in my basement for so long. I just felt like I wanted to just throw myself out there into the wild, you know, and uh, struggle a little bit, you know, stimulate my brain. And a struggle it was. The, uh, the paperwork and documents were annoying to prepare. I can't speak the language yet, so anytime a Japanese citizen asks me a question, I feel dumber than I usually am. And my C average brain has a hard time memorizing new words and sentences. Ordering a fridge and a washer machine was challenging. Setting up the internet. Building non-stop furniture. It never ends. Signing up for the Japanese bank and receiving a Japanese phone number was a journey in itself itself i i couldn't imagine doing all this by myself without geeks plus members like helping us out or even connor driving us out to the main city to japanese ikea everybody's so nice out here what a change of pace anyways god damn is this country so clean and beautiful like i see anime everywhere i'll make a cringe joke like oh rain this reminds me of the movie Weathering With You by Makoto Shinkai. Yeah, I, you know, I'd, I'd like to say it's like New York, but clean, and you don't feel like you're gonna get stabbed or shot at any given moment during the day. 
Also, there's no grid system, so it makes for some interesting alleyways. My favorite part about Tokyo, besides food, is the fact that I can walk everywhere again. You know, in the States, everywhere besides New York is geared towards driving to your destination. And you really have to go out of your way to get any sort of exercise. I can walk 10,000 steps easily because it, the city is so well designed around subway stops okay like my feet were dying for the first two weeks but now i feel like my legs are superhuman at this point you know what i mean the fact that Kobinis and vending machines are everywhere is my second favorite part besides food oh and oh oh god oh god lord the food the food is so good here it, it's like literally in every corner of everywhere why is the food so good oh no i need i need to lose weight dude stop my favorite is favorite part besides food is my wet room i take a bath almost nightly because it fills up automatically when you press the button and it talks to me in japanese and it's all like your highness your tub is ready plus i bought this sick glowing rubber ducky and these fat ham hams you know they squirt out the butthole i also want to preface that my throne the toilet is heated and i get to shoot a hydro blast up my butthole for optimal cleaning a clean butthole makes me happy Anyways, I could go into details forever, but this is my sum up. I hope having hardworking peers around me, a new environment, and having to pay rent reinvigorate me in some sort of way. Now, now, now just because I live in Japan doesn't mean I'll be making Japan content, you know, just every now and then I'll share my experience here and there, okay? I, I, I'm still gonna draw and animate, you know, while I'll also attempt to experiment with some new things here and there. Just same old, same old, you know, uh, but be sure to follow me on social media like Instagram and Twitter, and hopefully I can show you weird or beautiful stuff. And I also might start streaming, so go ahead and follow that too. And I'll see you later, you barnacle scum in Japan. Oh my god. God, you're such a spaz. What are you looking at, dude? <laughs> what? Stop playing with your hands. Oh my god. Moving into a foreign country is expensive, so... Here's a brand new sick game you can play! Made by Hoyoverse, the developer of Genshin Impact! Ready those wallets. Honkai Star Rail! An interstellar adventure in which you can travel, battle, and explore together with dozens of amazing characters with different styles, like Sampo the Salesman, Natasha the Smiling Doctor, or Clara the Daughter of a Robot. There must be a character you would fall in love with. One of my favorites is March 7th, because she wields an ice bow, which is my favorite element, and she has pink hair and very pretty eyes. With top tier animated cutscenes and music with an intriguing lore, this game will give you an immersive experience of a grand space fantasy. The second closed beta test is ongoing, so click now to get a chance to join the test before June 7th. And by pre-registering, you have a chance to win a PlayStation 5 before June 15th. Thanks again, Hoyoverse, for sponsoring this video.